hi guys <laughs> back again this might be the last part of this twiggling update um i think we might be able to get through these updates uh, in 20 30 minutes um thank you for watching <laughs> uh so this is going to be updates on big girls um i've had several box openings for these girls and then never come back to like say what happens with them <laughs> so this is to make up for that um but first before i move on to the big girls look at herla <laughs> um this actually just came in the mail it was what interrupted that video uh and i had to go um answer the door so these are uh ears from iru many feet iru and a circa horn and they have been airbrushed this uh air, airbrushed black and then with pink um detailing and i got this from <clears throat> oh it just went out of my brain um half tea i think is her name i'll have to uh, i'll try to remember to put a link or something um but uh i saw uh her wren she had this on her mini fee wrens um and had the wings and she'd also airbrushed the wings with the same pink highlights it was so pretty and um i loved how she had styled her and then um i saw that she was going to that she was selling these pieces so i snagged them up and opened them up and put them on her lap. <laughs> that wasn't the plan, but I thought they suited her. Um, I'd been thinking, like, I wanted something for her. Um, and it's funny that this horn, uh, actually, she's got a little magnet here uh, on her head faceplate, and it's actually the right um, polarity. So, yep, fun. I love her love. She, she is always, she, she never like wears the same thing forever. None of my dolls do. They may wear something for a long, long time, but uh, they do tend to change. Um, when it comes to Herla and Mila and my uh, Gehern, my main characters. So um, where should I start? Uh, I think I will, um, I think I'll start with my gaming because I don't think I ever came back with any videos about her. I did a box opening, she was in pieces. <laughs> um, and uh, I did switch around some pieces. So she did come with a, um, she's short legs and she was the long bust, which is not my favorite. I wouldn't order a doll that way. I actually switched out her with my other gaming and gave my other gamine, the longer bust, so she has long legs, long, uh, long waist, um, and now this girl. So she doesn't match in the back uh, if you looked at her um, resin, but if she's clothed, you can't tell. I like, I love the short, short girls, um, but I don't like the the long waist with the short legs. I, I think it, it's just not my favorite. Um, but anyways, this is my uh, gray gamine. Um, she was she has a face up done by angsty penguin or red iris atelier and she is wearing a pair of oscar doll eyes um one of the that from one of the many few releases um i recently got a bunch of them um i guess it's been a few months ago that i got a bunch a bunch of them that somebody was selling in a lot <clears throat> So, um, <clears throat> she's wearing clothes that I made, uh, and she's wearing a wig that I made. So, uh, I can't take credit for the fiber. Um, the fiber is Angora, and it's been dyed these beautiful colors. And I realized I left the air conditioner on. I'm going to go turn that off. Hopefully it won't make the video to the first part of the video with that fan on. I think it'll it'll screw up the sound, so I'm sorry. But 
And I did post about this on Instagram. Uh, so sometimes uh, if I say things in a video and you want to look up more about it, um, you can look at my Instagram posts. But so this was, uh, I bought two meters of this wefted Angora. It is a sewn weft uh, from a um, shop in Russia. They have a, they have an Etsy shop and I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put links to the Etsy post or excuse me, to the Instagram post I made <laughs> because <clears throat> I can't remember. Um, but it, it's a, like I said, it's a shop in Russia. Um, <clears throat> and so I will, again, if I can remember and have time and that sort of thing, I'll try to put in progress pictures. I might just put a link to um, those posts that showed how when I was doing the wig cap, I made a wig cap, I sewed a wig cap. Um, this is a sewn wig cap. Um, I sewed it and then I put uh, fabric fusion, fabric glue, which is the same thing that Moderately Vivid uses. And basically I was kind of trying to do some of the same things that Moderately Vivid does with his wigs because I love them so much. Um, he does not use sewn wefts, however. He glues individual wefts on their head with the fabric fusion glue. He uses the fast drying, um, I think. Um, I didn't have that, but... Um, and then uh, I, I, I sewed, I hand sewed these wefts on. So it was one long weft and um i cut maybe three did three here on the bottom and then i did the circle thing um and all the way to the top in a circle um and <clears throat> i wanted it to be full enough that you wouldn't see the wefts but i wanted it to not be too poofy on the top so um i still think for it's poofier than what i would like um, I have a left, enough left over, uh, not to make another SD sized wig, but I could make probably a Menangenu sized wig. So eventually I'll do that, um, and try it out again. I have some different techniques that, patterns, uh, that I want to try, because I want to try to make a, um, a center part, uh, center part that's, uh, um, instead of this just kind of laying out uh, a fake part, I want a, a real center part. Um, so that's my goal for the next one. So, um, yeah, it's not perfect, but uh, I, it's a usable wig. It's beautiful. It suits this doll perfectly. Um, so I'm pretty happy. I made the wig and the, I made the wig cap and the wig all on my other gamine because she doesn't have a face up yet because I didn't want to scratch this girl's face up. But she's wearing a corset that I made and this corset might have been in the last video. Um, I can't remember because I initially I made this corset for my obsidian elf ingenue. So that might have been in there. Um, so she's, and I don't remember if I shared these shoes or not. These are made by Dalmore, and therefore they're model dolls, glamour model, uh, and they fit, uh, they fit Ingenue, they, or they, they fit the Twiggling SD bodies perfect. Um, so at this point I've bought two pairs of these purples and two pairs of the blues. Uh, and um, we'll probably try to buy some more <laughs> because it's hard to find shoes that fit these girls. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna take advantage of that while I can and get a bunch of them so that I have enough. Um, so yeah, she's wearing, this is a, <clears throat> um, this is fabric. I'm pretty sure both of these fabric pieces are fabric that Miss Mantis sent me from her stash. <laughs> and um, I'm finally using some. Uh, and then, let me see, 
The other doll I want to go ahead and show you, I'll give you an update on Elbe. So this is my teal Elbe, and isn't she a gorgeous girl? So beautiful. So uh, she, again, she came in a box, uh, um, un, unstrung, uh, and so she's been suaded. Um, gamine's been suaded uh, with real suede or it's full coverage suading, uh, but most of this is actually uh, <clears throat> um, microfiber, man-made. Um, so I didn't do the shoulder joints. I tend to think they don't need it, so I, I usually don't do the shoulder joints. I like how loosely they move without it. Um, but the, this is... This resin color is amazing. I'm really going to be really excited to compare uh, the teal, um, my two version two Menanjanu that are on their way, um, and to compare and see how, um, how, how everything looks compared to this. This is, if I could get some more dolls in this color, um, boy, it, it is, it's kind of my, it's kind of my grail color <laughs> as far as like, teal I love teal so much so it is um, very vibrant it's not too light um, so I'll, I'll be very interested to see how it compares um, one of the one of the sad things is that they that Reese said is that they uh, that's why it's taken so long for those teal dolls to be finished because they've had a ton of problems casting that color so it probably won't be offered again and so I'm really happy that I went ahead and ordered those two dolls both in teal um, because I would be very very sad if I hadn't um, taken advantage of that and gotten those but anyways this was this girl is from the 2015 long pre-order um, she probably let's see I got my my white ingenue was the, the, the white dolls were the first to be delivered and I got her in April-ish of 2016 and so I think it was much later in 2016 maybe nearing the end of summer into the fall um, when the teal girls made it to their owners um, so uh, I made her a new corset um, and I thought it paired very nicely with this pair of ruffle shorts that I had um, made previously. I thought it looked really nice on her configuration. Um, and this is actually one of the first pair I made where I didn't do the hidden zipper. <laughs> you can see that, but um, uh, I really love how this corset turned out. And this was the first one that I made. Yeah, I think so. I think this was my first. I'd gotten these silk fabrics in and um, the first thing I made with them was this corset um, paired with uh, this beautiful fabric that Miss Mantis sent me and then some more of the silk back here. Um, she is wearing um, uh, some Sparrow's Shop antlers. And these are kind of uh, some grail antlers. <laughs> they were a pair that she had made several years back and I remember just being blown away and in love with them. Um, and they came up on the secondhand market a while ago now and I snatched them up. Um, this wig, uh, this was the, a wig that I commissioned um, Ophelia dolls to make when she had, she had my um, Pieta head. Uh, getting a face up and so this wig was made to fit her um, I warned her that it would likely get stolen Because <laughs> that's the way things happen here. They never go to who they were supposed to be so um, Elbe stole it. It also looks really really good on my um, uh, Lavender ingenue back there, but she doesn't have a face up yet, so she doesn't win <laughs> So maybe when she gets a face up, she'll win and get this lovely um, alpaca wig that Ophelia Dolls made. The eyes are, these are doll bakery eyes. Yeah, these are a pair of 
coveted doll bakery eyes um, and they suit her really good. I can't remember what size these are. Um, they're actually a bigger size than I thought I would like in her. I'll have to, I, I can't remember. I have to pull them out and look at them because I have two different ones in this size. One that are small iris, they're in this color, I mean. One that are small iris and one that are not. Um, she's wearing those Dalmore heels. Love her. She's a beautiful doll. Um, I think she looks amazing. Uh, her face up is from the previous uh, owner, Semiotic uh, Kitten, I think is her name. Um, gorgeous girl. Okay. Um, boy, this might have to get split up. We'll see. All right. Um, this is my obsidian elf ingenue and she is a grail uh she is a grail of grails a doll that i never thought i would have um and i have her looking and wearing things that i am very very happy with and have worked very very hard on <laughs> um and i'm talking about her her clothes um so this uh this pair of ruffle shorts um, with a that matches this corset um, so I I embroidered this um, I would say I did not embroider these flowers in entirety so I'll say that um, they I cut them out of uh, the embroidered lace that I have um, I, I made a big order of embroidered lace and so I cut some flowers out of that and then what I did uh, was I went in and added more colors to them where they needed it, um, where I thought needed more definition um, uh, vi uh, more or more vibrant colors to outline. And then I went in and did this, um, this metallic embroidery thread and you have to tack it down. You, you can't just go through a needle and so it's individually tacked down in these designs. Um, and it took me forever. Uh, I'm definitely not proficient at it, but um, I definitely think it was worth the effort. And I think I I'm going to do it again. <laughs> um, initially, I had wanted to do the gold embroidery on, on the side panels too. And, and I could still potentially go back and do that. Um, it's not, ideally, uh, it would be in between the two layers, but it, it wouldn't, it'd be okay. Um, but I'm very proud of this corset. I'm very proud of the ruffle shorts. I'm just really proud of the entire outfit. Um, and <clears throat> these things are very labor intensive. Uh, they take a lot of time. They take a lot of effort. Um, I could never offer these as, um something to commission or sell because uh, I mean even if I paid myself minimum wage it just still wouldn't so here's the zipper in the back she's got some panties on actually that's amazing I forgot she had those on um, so some wise guy on those confession blogs made some sort of comment about that all my dolls wear the same colors and just wear corsets and ruffle shorts and I'm like dude I make all these things you know like I'm sorry I'm not making things fast enough or in enough different colors for you. <laughs> you're, you're welcome to donate and uh, buy them some clothes though, if you like. Um, so yeah, I, I'm happy. I'm happy with my dolls. I'm happy with my collection. Um, uh, there's a lot of things that I would like to improve and learn more as, as far as sewing goes. And I, uh, I it's something I'm, for, continuing to work on um and uh yeah i mean um it takes a lot of um it takes a lot of practice uh so i do enjoy making things over again in different ways and trying out those sorts of things um but uh yeah i'm i'm happy with what my dolls are wearing <laughs> even if somebody else isn't they can get their own dolls and make their own things uh she's wearing this gorgeous long, luxurious alpaca wig um, that was made by Moderately Vivid. 
I'm going to do some more braids in it. Uh, I probably will not do such a long wig again. It's so beautiful, but gosh, it is a pain in the butt. <laughs> such a pain. Just kind of like long hair uh, on a person. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put some braids in it. I want to put some beading in it. Uh, uh, and that's, it's really going to lend itself well to that. So it's a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. Um, she is wearing these, um, I commissioned these from Sparrow's shop. Um, I've only commissioned her twice. Um, once, like back in 2014, or maybe 2015 by the time I commissioned her. Um, and then just a, a few months ago for, for these. Um, and then all the other uh, uh, things that I have that she's made, I've all been things I've gotten off of the secondhand market. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this was a pair of um, SD sized uh, ram horn snail type uh, horns and they are color, I don't want to take them off of her because the magnet will fall, but they are color change and I don't know if you can see it enough, but they're made out of that color change and, it, and um, she, has a, she has a really good picture of it on her um, Instagram that showed the two different colors. It's so gorgeous. Um, so it just kind of looks different uh, at different times, which I, which I just really like. Um, depending on fluctuations because it's the temperature range and change is pretty close and just room temperature up and down a few degrees. So it's not like you have to be fully frozen or roasting to get the color change. Um, she also stole uh, this horn. <laughs> this is my um, Soldal Ahiel Centaur's unicorn horn. And she's got it right now because it matches her colors so good. Um, she's wearing, uh, this is a ring that's got some Celtic knotwork on it and then a bracelet that I made a long time ago. And then these shoes are, um, these shoes are made by Eiffel House and they're for the I EID girls. Um, they only fit the older ingenue bodies. So girls that are probably 2014, 2014 and earlier are those dolls that were went out to their homes in early 2015. Anything from the long pre-order of 2015, anything from that pre-order onwards cannot wear these shoes. Um, so uh, there's some old uh, things on Den of Angels that says that the, that Twiggling girls can wear I, uh, EID shoes, um, and it's true, but only the older ones. So obviously there's been some changes, and she she says that that every time um, every time she gets the mo the uh, master um, the master sculptures, I guess. Uh, every time she gets them back from casting, if they need work, she changes them, she adjusts them. Um, so uh, as an artist, nothing is ever finished. Um, and I think as consumers, that can be hard for us to like, you know, why did it change? That sort of thing. But it's like, well, because it's always a work in progress. Um, and I, w I wouldn't be able to resist uh, changing, you know, it's my creation. and. Uh, my skills would change and I would want to change it too. So I definitely understand um, How that works. Let's see. How are we doing for time? Uh, okay here um, let's Here is My Pieta version one and she's from 2014 I think um, this corset isn't actually laced up all the way. <laughs> we'll hold it on. <laughs> uh, I made her um, a pair of modified ruffle shorts and I can't remember if I showed them in the last video or not. Uh, they have a zipper, um, a hidden zipper in the back. 
uh, she is, and she has a, a face up. She is one of the girls that came back with a face up from Ophelia Dolls. I sent two Menanginu face plates and my um, Pieta. And so her coming home really um, like, yeah, okay, you're, you're in Derica. Um, this is Alondria's younger sister. Um, and, uh, yeah, having her come back, I knew for sure that she was. Um, she is, um, the wig. Ooh, who made the wig? Um, shoot, I can't remember. It wasn't, it wasn't Nadina. Shoot, I can't remember. Um, Well, I'll try to post it. Um, I'll try to post it down below. It's it, it's made out of Angora, and it's one of the Russian wig makers on Etsy. So, um, yeah, beautiful. It was an in-stock wig. It was a wig meant for a Feeple 65. So it doesn't fit her perfectly. It's definitely the head cap's a little on the large size, um, but uh, it stays on good enough with a lot of putty. <laughs> Um, and the colors are perfect. She needed, you know, the pinks and the whites. Uh, originally I had it on my, um, on Alandria. Uh, she was wearing it, uh, before I got her that wig. She's wearing a pair, that other pair. Oh, this is, this is a pair of Enchanted Doll Eyes. Yeah. They're 14 millimeter small iris and, um, beautiful. She's wearing, uh, these shoes don't fit. <laughs> they are the velvet uh, heels from R.R. Rabbit. And I had to do a lot of working and stretching on them to get them to fit her. Um, but I wanted them to fit her, so I did. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to speed on a little bit because otherwise this video will be too long to load up. Um, and I'll have to split it again. So here is Alondria. She's wearing um, this outfit that she's been wearing for quite a while. I love it on her. It's a um, it's a doll heart uh, outfit, and it's meant to be from their I think 1920s collection that was from a couple years ago. Um, and she's wearing a pair of Dalmore heels. They are the the glamour model, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, she has a face up by me, which I actually don't mind. Um, and she has this lovely new Angora wig. Um, it doesn't fit her exactly correctly because it's meant for a, um, Eiffel House doll. But look at that. That's gorgeous. Um, lover of roses on... Instagram, uh, she sells direct through her Instagram. Um, she doesn't have an Etsy or a shop as far as I know. So it's like I said, it doesn't fit her quite perfectly, but good enough. <laughs> and character wise and outfit wise, I'm very, very happy with her. So, okay. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anything massive. Um, my lavender ingenue hasn't really had anything different about her. I think, she, oh, she got this wig. Um, this wig, this was a mini doll cuties, mini fee wig. Uh, and, um, I'm able to adjust the head cap by clipping it and it fits an ingenue head relatively nicely. So this girl, I need to get her face up. Um, I failed. I failed. My goal in, J in July was to send out dolls for face-ups. Like, I want to be sending out dolls every month for face-ups. Every month. And now we are mostly through August. <laughs> and I have not sent out any more dolls. So I failed. Oh, okay. I'm going to wrap this up. Um, and have some lunch and then maybe come back and do something else. Uh, but yeah, these will take a long time to load. And so I will probably, as they um, are uploaded, I will put them on the internet. And so it may be days and days later before these actually are uploaded. 
So I apologize for that. It always kind of, like by the time they get up and people are commenting on them, I always read the comments, but it's just like, it's been several days. Um, so I, by that time I'm back to work. I'm, uh, and so I don't always have time to come back and answer and interact with people, which is too bad. I, I do wish I had more time for that because it's fun. Um, and I wish I could interact more, um, but I do read everybody's comments. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.